Hey, hey, what's up? Today I want to show you how to rig the brand new 2025.7 slash. That's a freestyle sale. Yeah, do I want to show you how to rig especially this sale? No, I want to tell you how to rig a freestyle sale or a windsurf sale in general. Maybe you are a beginner and you want to know how to rig a sale, kind of. Is there any wrong or right, especially when it comes to freestyle race and, and, and racing and way, yeah, wave also. Is there wrong or right? Somehow. But there are also a lot of preferences how people rig their sail and how they how the sail has to work in certain certain circumstances and conditions. So today I want to show you how I will write my slash i got it today in the mail and i already rigged it to sticker it up and now it's time to show you how to rig my sail so of course first of all we are putting the mass together boom what a task man Whew. no i'm just kidding put it aside Make sure you have the right mast, okay? And uh, make, also make sure you have the right boom, that uh, the clue, also that the, the boom, the sail fits into the boom. And um, yeah, my boom is from one meter 40 to one meter 90. My carbon wave boom from 0.7. Uh, I already put it on 150, that's what's required for the sail. And I already have my uh, mast extension. I know it's not from 0.7, but I already put it on, on 10, okay? On 10 centimeters, because that's what required with a 370 mast. So, um, how do I know actually? Well, if you have a sale from a good and decent brand, that knows its craft, then of course, the specs are right here. So right here, the mast 370 loft, which is the total length of the, of the sail, the extension 10 and the boom 150. Woo, here you go. And we have a four meter sail. So as I said, you roll it out and what I see already is that the sail has, especially in this area, different materials and a slightly different cut. But what I've heard from Jacopo and especially Tomer, which are also the 0.7 riders, that this sail is awesome. What I also see is that the mast back right here is a bit wider. Correct me if I'm wrong, Andrea. Andrea Cookie, the boss of 0.7. <laughs> so, what do you do? You roll it out and then you stick the mast into the sail. To everybody who's a pro windsurf rider, this must be pure comedy for everybody, huh? But I'm good for that. I'm up, I'm up always for a good laugh. And if I can make you smile, that's what I want. So, get the mast inside. And there's this small little thing. This small little wiener. <laughs> make sure the mast is inside of it so that the mast cannot get out once you get the downhole. So, it's in. Here we go. And the next thing I want to do is I have the mast extension. And, ah, put it in the sail. Here we go. And now I will put the rope inside those rolls. Give it already a bit more downhole with the hand. So, and then can you see it? I have it right here. 
So I pull it down, put it inside this little thing, and then I just give it already some downhole. Not too much. There's some, still some way to go. Okay, and from here on, we are using the boom. Here we go. If you're a beginner, I really recommend a starting leash. Mine is like longer, it's older than 20 years or something. And I guess me and Balz Müller are the only two guys in freestyle windsurfing who are still using a starting leash. Balz told me, I was always using it. And I was like, hey, I'm okay with it, with pulling my sail up where whenever I won't make a move, the sail falls down, I don't want a water start. I put it up the easy way. And that's what Baltz told me also. He turned 30 this year or last year, I guess this year. And uh, <laughs> he told me, well, if you're in your 30s, take care of your back, especially of your lower back and use a starting leash. So, and right here, you can see those little arrows where you, triangles, whatever you call them, where you can recognize where to put your mast. All right, so this is mine, kind of, and the mast is ready. Oh, the boom is ready, is mounted on the mast. And from here on, let's put it right here so that you can see it in the easiest way. Put the rope right here, put it inside the boom. And now, this is why there are the specs, all right? If it says 150 and you have the right boom, that's, that's really 150 long. Then you pull it until it's not working that much anymore or almost touching the clue right here and then it should be actually fine but as i said there are some preferences and then after that i give it another downhole huh here we go come on And I make sure that I don't have loose leech. I don't, I'm, me as a freestyler, I don't want loose leech because loose leech is opening the sail. It's, so you can ride the sail higher and longer in the wind, in high winds, but on the flip side, it's more unstable, especially when it comes to ducking moves or those power freestyle moves and um, then you want to keep the power. You don't want to get the, the power away. If I pull too much, if I have too much downhole and there are wrinkles on, on this side, it's, uh, it's not in the best way how it should be. All right. And the next steps are I wrap it around the extension and I pull it in this little bag right here. Boom, I get my leash. And 0.7 has this nice little gap where you pull it out. Perfect, there you go. And guys, this is my Come on. Woo. This is how I rig my slash four meter sail 2025. All right. So, <laughs> you know, if you, if you don't know me, I'm actually special. I'm a personal trainer specialized on surfers or more or less, especially windsurfers, because I'm a windsurfer for, 20, uh, for 27 years 
already. And uh, this is pretty much my craft. This is where I have all my knowledge. So, and if you're interested in stuff, in more stuff like that, then make sure to check out the link down below in the description uh, about the Fit for Surfing program. It's a fitness program that's tailored on the needs of surfers of all kinds, but especially windsurfers, because we need mobility, we need strength, coordination, balance, stability. That's one topic we have. Um, and yeah, endurance, core, lower body, upper body, strength, foot workouts, we have recovery workouts, balance board workouts, we have guided meditations in there. And uh, it's more than around 80 workouts you can do, and it's still growing. So check it out and with the code SURF, S-U-R-F in capital letters, 79, so SURF 79, you get the yearly description for 79 euros instead of 300. So that's actually a no-brainer. Make sure to check it out. And if you like to see more videos of me entertaining you or edutaining you, if you have learned something awesome, then uh, please subscribe and uh, I see you for the next one. Take care. Whee!